Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Welcome back to my channel Jadi jika anda pertama kali hadir ke channel ini Selamat datang saya ucapkan Tapi jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula Tahniah kerana rajin dan sudi kembali Jadi dalam video ini anda akan lihat beberapa pattern soalan Yang berkaitan dengan gravitational force So apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula Okay guys, example number 5. Kalau tengok ni macam pendek saja soalannya. Tapi ada diagram ha, yang mungkin agak mencabar sedikit. Okay, macam mana kita nak selesaikan example number 5. Okay, so here we have three uniform spheres of mass 3 kg, 2 kg and 5.5 kg. Okay, so kalau boleh saya nak namakan lah mass saya ni. M1. Okay, yang ni saya akan letak M2. And this is M3. Supaya senang untuk saya tulis nanti untuk selesaikan soalan. Okay. These all masses are placed as in figure 1. So this is the figure right. So calculate the net gravitational force on the sphere of 3 kg. On siapa? Highlight kan? On 3 kg right. So kita nak sini. Kita nak kira. The net gravitational force on 3 kg mass. Okay, jadi kalau soalan tulis on 3 kg, we want to find the net gravitational force on the sphere of 3 kg. Maknanya kita perlu lukis direction of the gravitational force pada, pada siapa? Pada 3 kg itulah. Okay, so saya akan lukis dekat sini. So gravitational force on mass 2 due to mass 1. So dia akan attracted to mass 1. Direction is upward. So F on 2 due to mass 1 f21 okay and another one is in this direction okay f on 2 due to the third mass which is 5.5 kg and m2 akan attracted lah ke m3 boleh okay so before we start look at here uh, f23 ni ada angle kan uh, direction dia macam ni f23 so dia ada angle Okay, ha, macam ini. Ha, kita perlulah resolve dan mesti melibatkan X and Y component. Okay, so kita ada F2X. Okay, F23. So this one is F23X. And this is F23Y. Okay, so let's say I want to find what is the angle here. Contohnya saya nak cari angle dekat sini lah. Theta. Okay. So based on the information given by the question, okay, we know that the side of the angle, each side is 6 meter. Okay, so kalau saya lukis macam ini, each side 6 centimeter. So kalau saya divide ini dua, okay, so this is 3 meter and this is 3 meter, 6 meter and 6 meter. Okay, ah, dia seolah-olah awak macam sini lah, macam awak kira kat sini. Ha, so kita nak cari ini. What is the angle theta here? Here. Okay. So, kita ada hypotenuse 6. And the adjacent line is 3 meter. Then we can write that theta cos theta is equal to 3 over 6. Therefore, theta is equal to inverse cos 3 over 6. You akan dapat angle dia 66.7 degree. Okay. So, kita dah dapat angle 66.7 degree. Okay, kita boleh tulis juga lah kat sini. 66.7 degree. Okay. So, F23X. We can write F23X. Okay. F23X jauh daripada angle. So, sin. F23 sin theta. F23Y is F23 cos theta. Ingat ya. Siapa line yang duduk sebelah angle tu cos. Ha, senang awak nak ingat supaya tak careless. Okay. So, before we start the calculation, saya kira dulu. Kita ada two forces. F21, okay, kita ada sini. F21 and F23. Okay, saya nak tulis dulu. F21, saya tahu gravitational force between mass 2 and mass 1. Okay, and the distance between mass 2 and mass 1. Squared. Saya kira dulu. Okay, kita masukkan dulu nilai dia. 6.67 exponent negative 11 m2 so m2 is 3 kg 
M1 is 2 kg over R21. Okay, so R21 is 6 squared. Boleh eh? So, it's equal to, okay, positif. Kenapa saya letak positif? So, saya tulis dulu ya. Okay. So, positif. Saya highlightkan positif ni. Okay. Because F to 1. Look at here. The direction is upward. Okay. The direction of F to 1 is upward. So, positive direction in Y component. Dia ada Y component saja. X component tak ada. Okay. Tak ada angle. So, no need to resolve for F to 1. Right. Okay. Tetapi untuk F to 3 nanti. Kejap lagi kita akan resolve kepada X and Y component. But before we resolve, saya akan kira dulu F23 itu sendiri berapa. Okay. So, M2, M3 over the distance between F23 squared. Alright. So, the distance between F23 pun sama lah. Okay, the distance between mass 2 dengan mass 3 pun sama. 6. Ini. M2 dekat sini, M3 dekat sini. So, 6. Boleh eh? So, it's equal to 6.67 times 10 power of negative 11. So, M2 is 3 kg. M3 is 5.5 kg. Over R23, 6 lah. Jarak dia 6 squared. Okay. So, bila kita tulis. Okay, saya letak juga 3.06 times 10 power of negative 11 newton. Kenapa yang untuk F23 ni saya tak letak positif? Okay, sebab dia hanya F23. Sebab dia ada X and Y component. Remember, kita akan ada X component. Okay, which is F23X. And the direction is to the right. So, it's positive F23 sine 66.7 degree. Boleh? And, dia ada juga Y component. Where the direction is upward direction. So, F23, Y also positive. F23, cos 66.7 degree. Boleh? So, saya highlightkan positive. Ha. Okay. X component positive to the right. Y component also positive. Because the direction of F23, Y is upward. Boleh eh? Jadi kalau kita kira F23X dan F23Y, ha, awak cubalah kira. Okay. Ha, kalau saya masukkan dekat sini, F23 tadi saya dah dapatkan nilai dia. Ini F23. Okay. Ha, saya akan letaklah kat sini F23. Saya akan masukkan positif. 3.06 exponent negative 11 sin 66.7 degree. Ha, tolong kira. Berapa dapat? F23X. Okay, practice tekan calculator. So, you're going to have positive 2.65. Exponent negative 11 Newton. Okay. And how about F23Y? Sama juga. F23 kita dah kira 3.06. Tak ada masalah. Saya hanya masukkan terus. And then cos 66.7 degree. Tekan kalkulator elok-elok. Pastikan kalkulator dalam degree mode. So, F23Y is equal to positive 1.53 exponent negative 11 Newton. Boleh eh? So, kat sini kita dah dapat dah dua nilai. So, positive, positive. Okay, macam mana kita nak selesaikan? So, we want to find the net gravitational force on mass 2. Okay? So, the equation. Ha, tukar kali lain pula. Okay, so the equation, the net gravitational force on mass 2 is equal to, because we have x and y component, so total, okay, force in x component squared plus, okay, total gravitational force on mass 2 in y component squared. Okay, ha, kalau you rasa macam confused, nak buat ha, table, tak ada masalah, you boleh buat table. Ha, contoh kat sini kita punya force, lepas tu x component, and Y component. Kan? Awak oh, cubalah buat. Ya, macam tu. Eh, eh. Sekejap. Okay. Okay, so F. Kita ada F12. Atau F21. And F23. Kan? Awak nak buat 
Table tak ada masalah Awak buat je table So F21 kita dah ada tadi Tapi kita tahu F21 the direction is only in Y component So 0 X component 0 So Y component 1.11 Kan And then F23 Kita ada F23X Kita dah kira dah tadi Iaitu positif 2.65 Exponent negative 11 Newton F2 Y also positif Okay saya masuk saja nilai Okay tulis elok-elok lah 1.53 exponent negative 11 Jadi yang dekat bawah ni adalah total force So total force in X component Okay And total force in Y component Awak total kan lah Ha, awak tambahkan Ini tak perlulah tambahkan kosong kan Dapatlah ini ha, Yang ni awak tambahkan Ni tambah ni dapatlah yang Total FY Boleh ha, Berapa dapat tu total FY So total FY you akan dapat 2.64 eh? Tak muat 2.64 Okay ha, Total FX samalah ini kat sini so let's substitute in this equation Kita nak cari the net gravitational force on mass 2 Okay menarik eh soalan ni So kita masukkan total force in x component So 2.65 exponent negative 11 squared Plus y adalah 2.64 times 10 negative 11 squared Boleh eh Okay so kita akan dapat jawapan 3.74 times 10 power of negative 11 newton so this is the magnitude okay and how about the direction so let's try to calculate the direction okay theta is equal to inverse tangent total fy over total fx okay so masukkanlah nilai fy dengan fx tu you akan dapat theta Okay, is 49.9 degree. Okay, and it is above, above positive X axis. Jadi, kenapa above positive X axis? Dekat video sebelum ni, saya pernah discuss kan? Ha, okay, sebab apa? Sebab total FX kita positif, so to the right. Total FY kita also positif, so upward. So, the resultant gravitational force dekat sini, FG2, okay, and the angle is here. Okay. Theta telah 49.9 degree. So above positive X exists. Kenapa? Ha, ni kan positif ni. Ni positive X. This one is negative X. Kan? Ha, paksi X, paksi Y. So dia berada pada above positive X exists. Ha, kalau kat belah sini, kalau belah sini. Ini above negative X exists. Yang warna kuning ni. Tak nak lah. Kita punya yang ha, yang warna pink ini. Above positive X axis. Okay. So kita dah ada kita punya magnitude and also the direction. Okay. So finish example number 5. So let's proceed to example number 6.